I'm Pat Sherwood, you're Nicole Christensen from CrossFit Roots in Boulder, Colorado, and uh, one of the affiliates we're going to be chatting with about what's going on in the open, what does it mean to you, and, and why you're doing it. So thanks, Nicole, for joining us today. Thanks for having me. And so do you know last year how many people you guys had throw down in the open at your gym? I think we were around 140. And so what's your, what's your take or what's your sales pitch? Uh, we don't say we expect them to sign up, but we try and we try and put out enough educational pieces that entice people from every different level of fitness. So, An example. They, example. So we do this series on our blog that's called "Why I Did the CrossFit Open Last Year," and we interview seven different athletes. We write, we ask them questions. Hey, why'd you do the open? And they get to tell their story from last year about why they did it. And we try and find people that there's there's someone that we interview that resonates with a bunch of different people at the gym. And so last year, 140 people signing up, was it, did you have the whole spectrum of athletes, you know, looking at it now hindsight, or was it most of the people that could do things rx Was it newbies? Was it veterans? What did it look like? No, uh, we had people that literally hadn't finished foundations yet. Oh, and really? Like, hey, I saw this thing on your blog. Do you think I could do it? And we're like, yes. Um, and then we had, you know, we had people, we had a team go to regionals, so we had people that were doing the Open very seriously. Uh, and, and that's, I mean, I would hope that's where m most, you know, people see it as it doesn't really matter where you're coming from. There's something to be, bet, you know, that you can gain from doing it. And so we had people, you know, take take the, was the overhead squats and chest to bar pull-ups. Mm -hmm. We had people that literally got their first overhead squat at that weight. And that was their success story for the Open is that they did it one time or they did it, 15 times and thought they were only able to do it once. So everyone's, everyone calibrates a little bit to what they have to gain from the Open, but everyone's gaining something. You know, you've got a, an affiliate that's running like a well-oiled machine and now these workouts come out for five weeks and you know, it's kind of a, a little bit of a monkey wrench. How did you work those into your cycle of training at your affiliate? Probably the biggest thing that, as a starting point that facilitates this the best we found is getting as many people to pass the judges course and be able to judge effectively as possible. Um, and then from there, every Friday, every single class, whether it's 5.30 a.m., and this is, a good, this is a good tactic too to get people to do the open, but every single class from 5.30 a.m. all the way in through to lunch is the open workout. Okay. So we say, that's a, another way we convince people. We're like, hey, you're gonna, if you come to class on Fridays, <laughs> you're gonna do the workout. You can't avoid it. Why not just enter your score? Um, so we run it in all the group classes. And then on Friday nights, we do, I think a lot of affiliates call it Friday Night Lights. And from 4 till 6.30, we run back to back consecutive heats and we have it set. It's, it's mostly like an event. You've got a judging staff that signed up in advance. We have um, a food sign up. So dinner arrives at five 30. We do happy hour afterward and everybody comes out and that's how we make it happen. And then the other big thing we do is we run a Sunday makeup. So if you can't come on Friday, you're out of town or whatnot, or you want to do the workout again, which nobody ever wants to do the workout twice, but right. actually, yeah, right. Um, so on Sunday at 11, we do the same thing again, obviously not with all the food and things like that, but it gives people an option if they weren't able to make it. And so very well thought out. The Friday Night Lights thing is very cool. What would you tell somebody, you know, that obviously if they don't do the open, their training is going to proceed just fine. They're going to continue on with their fitness. So why do it? You know, why is it, why does it have some level of importance for you and your affiliate? But I think the open's a time to really maybe put a little bit more thought process to that. And it is, it is it's like a check-in with yourself and, and your fitness about what you want for the following year. And in the same way, when people go run a 5K, they're a little bit more motivated. Sure. That, you know, on their runs the next week, it's the exact same thing we see. And, and we do find people that are inspired after doing the open and watching somebody struggle through something or, or watching someone you know, achieve something they didn't think possible, that it becomes, it, it really motivates the gym for a good number of months afterward. And I think if you're part of that, then you can take advantage of it in so many different ways.